Tonight, the official goodbye from Guardians fans in Cleveland to their beloved manager, Terry Francona. He was even recognized tonight on the floor of the U.S. Senate. Francona, thank you for everything you've done for Cleveland. Thank you for the, the memories and the joy you've brought so many of us as fans. Uh, we celebrate his contributions to baseball, his commitment to Cleveland, and his extraordinary career. That, of course, is Senator Sherrod Brown. And during tonight's, Brown, tonight's speech by Brown, Tito led the Guardians for the last time at Progressive Field. And we have team coverage of tonight's last game at Progressive as manager of Tito Francona. We begin with Nick Camino with a breakdown of how it all went. Yeah, good evening, Betsy. Good evening, Russ. It was a special evening over at the ballpark. It really was a memorable night that I know Guardians fans will remember for a long, long time. Manager Terry Francona managing his final home game at Progressive Field. And we knew this would be special, right? I mean, just first of all, they won, right? The Guardians beat the Reds 4-3 to three tonight, playing a little spoiler as Cincinnati's trying to make the postseason. So they win for Tito. But this was really the neatest part of the game. I mean, you get the tribute, the video tribute for the future Hall of Famer, the crowd of nearly 30,000 giving Francona a standing ovation with their Thank You Tito shirts. You could tell the skipper was emotional. He really was. I mean, spent 11 seasons here, had so much much success during that time. This was a special era of Cleveland baseball. I know we always talk about the 90s, but this era with Terry Francona these 11 years, so special. After the game, you could tell how much all this meant to Francona. It was really touching. Don't don't ever get me wrong. I mean, my goodness sakes. I mean, you know, I, I've told this group plenty of times. I know I'm not the smartest person in the room by far, but I was smart enough to pick a place where I believed in the people, and that only grew. And I think anybody that's ever spent 10 minutes with me knows how much I like it here. It's so close to kind of how I, where I grew up and two hours away, and it, it, it was a good decision. It just seems like it got better. I can tell you, this city, this franchise, and all the fans – Really going to miss Terry Francona. A special 11 years here. I remember when he took the job, he said he wasn't just taking it as a retirement gig, right? He had that big job with the Boston Red Sox, came over from there after a year off, and he really took this job by the horns and led this team to some great wins, some memories that we'll never forget. And uh, we all wish Terry Francona the very best for whatever's next for him, guys. We certainly do. All right. Thank you, Neil. You got it. I'll see you in Nick. a little bit. That's Nick over there. That right, is Neil. Nick. Okay. Neil's name was he's, on the prompter because he has our next story. <laughs> Francona's legacy here in Cleveland is not only on the field, it's throughout the city as well. Neil Fisher shares the farewell from the fans. I don't know if we're ever going to find a guy that, that's going to be that committed. Ahead of Terry Francona's final home game as manager of the Cleveland Guardians, thousands of fans got to the stadium early to thank Tito. They put us back on the map, quite honestly, and uh, I became a season ticket holder the minute they, they signed him. So uh, that's what he means to me. Francona's success was evident right when he arrived. I think he's brought stability to the organization. Stability and success. It's what led Tito to more than 900 wins with the organization, making him the winningest manager in the club's history. I think people don't appreciate how good he is with the players. The, his communicative skills are, I think, second to none. Obviously, we're at nine games under 500, but we're still playing good baseball, and if it wasn't for three, four injuries, we'd probably be uh, playing in October. No manager will compare to Tito, a man of the fans, of the players, and of the community. Finding a Tito is not going to happen. I, you know, those uh, Hall of Fame managers are few and far between. Terry Francona goes down as the winningest manager in the history of the Guardians organization. But as good as he was on the field and in the dugout, his commitment to the community and to the fans may be what's remembered. Russ, Betsy. Oh, my goodness. Well, certainly he will be missed. Thanks so much, Neil Fisher, joining us live from outside of Progressive Field. Well, Tito was not able to ride off into the sunset after tonight's game on his beloved scooter, nicknamed the Hog. Just before the teams took the field, he announced that that scooter had been stolen again. Francona explained the scooter was taken about 10 days ago and destroyed. He rented an electric scooter for the weekend, but it wasn't the same. He hit a pothole and he crashed. Thankfully, he obviously was not seriously hurt.